I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. Ah! I miss you too. I'll see you soon. Don't go anywhere without me, all right? <laughs> Nasana. Oh. It'll be good to see her again. Kind of like a reunion, you know? Not really. I'm lying about the reunion part and that it'll be good to see her. But let me live in this delusion, okay? You, sit down. I thought I killed you. Tally, 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 here, fuck. Oh, Tally, you just kind of walked right out there. That was a little dangerous. Not gonna lie. It was a bold strat. Who are they shooting at? Garrus, are you... Garrus, what are you doing? Mind over matter. Okay. Ah. All right, hold on. Don't worry, I'll get to you too. Why is Garrus still down there? Garrus, what were you doing down on the ramp? You are a sniper, not a distraction. I'm very confused as to how Garrus lived his life before... We all got back together, but I'm not going to question it at the same time because, Garrus, your life is your own, but still, please don't die. Kind of in order. Kind of just personal preference as well. It's really pretty up here. It's actually really cool. Oh. Huh. I'm going to have to try to find a way to come back and just enjoy it. Well, not really, but Forget you know what I mean. Explosives. He's already past us. Uh. Watch out for those explosives. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy. Thanks, Tally. You. Tally, I think you might have just attacked that drone and I killed it. I'm kind of sorry. Kind of not. Just mainly because I sometimes just, you know, itchy trigger finger and all that. It happens. You understand, right? I'm sure. You have to. I'm sorry. I know you probably worked really hard to hack it really fast, but still. Can you pop out, please? Excuse me. It's rude. Thank you. It was so rude. I just kind of sit there like that or stand there and it just, you can't get anything because they're just there. Rude. Such rudeness. Anything over here? Oh, I left a, uh, a gun behind and some other things. I guess this is where we're going. Oh, what's this? They've seen us. Oh, good. I love tunnels like this. I don't this. care what you do. No one gets across that bridge. Nasana, I'm going to come across Nothing that bridge. And then I'm going to say hi, because that makes me giggle. I love corridors like this. This is so much fun. Isn't this fun, Garrus? Garrus, isn't this way better than... What are you doing? Why are you napping, Garrus? What? Garrus, why? Th thank you for waking up. And not sleeping on the job. I appreciate it. I was about to say, isn't this more fun than calibrating a weapon? But then you chose to just nap on the job, which kind of says to me, Garrus, that you're not getting enough sleep. Maybe stop calibrating the guns and get some more sleep. Thanks, Tally. No, Tally. Tally, careful, honey. No, you won't. Not if Tuchika gets you first. Nasana, they can't kill me. It's impossible. <clears throat> okay, I just want you to know that. Can you just, Nasana, can you just give up? That would probably be easier. I'm not gonna lie. You giving up nice shooting. would definitely be easier. Okay, one down. Garrus, don't you know Overload? Can't you overload that for me? No? How about not getting hit by it though? Can we try that? Okay, all done. Good. I need ammo. I miss what the hell am I paying you for? Nothing now, they're dead. You can't really pay them for anything. I'm sending in reinforcements. Okay. Weakening their integrity. Hi guys. <laughs> really nice to meet you all. They're not going to be able to finish me off, Nasana. You might as well give up now. I have a really stupid idea, but it sounds kind of fun. So cover me. Guys, really stupid idea, okay? Fine. Heavy weapons. Yeah, heavy.
heavy weapon. Can you pop your head up so I can use my Son heavy weapon? Bitch. Heavy no, weapon. I know. Heavy it weapon. Stinks. Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, Listen, just enjoy it. Shit. I know. Uh, Maybe you should try defending uh, yourself. Woo! Wasn't that fun? Love that gun. So good. So glad I stole it. Best gun I've ever stolen. Don't ask me how many I've stolen, okay? Shepard, but you're dead. Not really. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. Is that what you really think? Do you really think I did all of this to kill you? Nasana, I don't even give any... I, I, I don't care about you, whether you live or die. It literally means nothing to me. Maybe I just missed you. Screw you, Shepard. No thanks. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister... And now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You are so delusional. You really think I give a shit about whether you live or die? I wouldn't waste time hunting you down, Nasana. What do you call this? You've practically destroyed my towers. I wasn't looking for you. What the hell are you talking about? Is it credits? No. Nope. Is that what you want? No. Nope. Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Ah, uh, no. No, you can't make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? <laughs> You'll never, ever, ever get to know the difference, Nasana. I doubt I could explain it so you'd understand. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You think you're so superior, just what? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Who? Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Um, is it okay to talk or? I came a long way to talk to you. One moment. Prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Why? Is she really worth that? Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. Ah. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. It's, uh, it's nice to finally meet you. So what you're saying is that you were expecting me. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Actually, that's kind of a brilliant tactic. You're welcome, by the way. Listen, I need you on my team. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. <laughs> so I've heard, but I intend on coming back. They tell me it's a suicide mission. I intend to prove them wrong. A suicide mission? Huh. Yes, a suicide mission will do nicely. I'm dying. 
Uh, I'm sorry. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. Are you... sick? Or is this some other kind of metaphorical thing I'm not gonna understand? You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. Fair. Um, I am sorry, either way about it. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Noble. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Thank you. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Uh, is there a problem, Jacob? Because this kind of hostility, it's not gonna work on my ship, all right? At all. Obviously he is too, he's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. Yes, he does, Edie. Jacob, you need to give him a chance. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Right, right, that's great. Jacob is being openly hostile to the assassin on my ship. Sounds like a smart idea. I bet they knows like 12 different ways to kill Jacob with just his like one finger kind of thing. And Jacob's out here provoking him. I'm going to check in with Joker, quickly check my messages, feed my fish, and then I'll go get Samara. I might grab a snack though. I wonder if there's time to grab a snack. Joker, do you think I have time to grab a snack or? Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Welcome. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? I tried that. It's actually really boring. Uh, I actually did try coins at, at one point. Uh, it, it's not quite as fun as dangerous aliens. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Good luck. I'm going to check my mail and then, you know, get out of here and go get another dangerous alien just for you. I want to make sure you get the full set, Joker. I wonder if anybody did message me. Probably not. But we'll see. Nope. Nope. Nobody cared. That's fine. All right. Time to go feed the fish. Time to go then find me another dangerous alien. Hey, I remember you. Can I talk to you? What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. Yeah, I know, but I feel like I overheard you talking about something and you lost it and I found this. Is it yours? I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Kurosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. You're welcome. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Well, I'm glad I could help. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Oh, thanks. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. All right, well, good luck with all that. I have no idea what I handed over, but he seems very happy. And honestly, putting a smile on somebody's face is not necessarily my job, but it's nice when that actually happens, because normally it's the opposite of that. Okay? Uh, normally, it's really it's not, not me putting a smile on anybody's no face, more like a bullet in somebody so this is you know you can sell some nice that dangerous with just a contract Wait, and a waiver is These that are the terminus systems. no everything no i haven't had any luck yet she insists it was legal i don't know i'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract is that who i think it is that can't be what i think it is 
Shepard. Yeah. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. No, I do. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. Nice! The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. They managed to take the Thorian back with them, huh? Ah. I wish there had been a way to take it with me or do something to make sure that they didn't get their hands on it after, but it is what it is. Hopefully, they didn't get too much. Hopefully, once we killed it, just anything useful kind of went with that. I know it's wishful thinking, but let me have this. Are people in danger or... Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. Uh-huh. They actually seem to want to help us survive. Yeah. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Honestly, I will take mundane. I never, ever, ever, ever get mundane anymore. Is there anything that I can do to help? Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Fair. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. Oh. That's why I'm here. My goodness, I'm... What kind of health problems is everybody having? What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Interesting. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Absolutely we would, or you would, rather. It's fascinating. So it seems that you can't necessarily break that relationship altogether without some kind of other inter- I wonder if the Thorian would have been able to separate them without this, if the Thorian had wanted to. Huh. What about the, uh, the contract? Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. All right. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. I get it. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Okay. Yeah, I can see why this would be a problem. I am not for nothing, and I'm sure this is a very personal question, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Why are you green? Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. Interesting. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. Really? I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. That sounds like it would be very disconcerting. It's like you're still connected to the Thorian, even though it's technically, hopefully, dead. I do wonder, though, if this has anything to do with Exogeny taking it. Have they... I mean, as far as we know, it's dead. But what if when they took whatever remained of it, they resurrected it after a fashion? And this is why all of this is happening? Oh, isn't that a terrifying thought? Listen, uh, let me handle this, all right? I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go have a nice little chat with this representative. We're gonna be diplomatic and nice. I'm gonna try. Don't look at me like that. I'm gonna do my best. Listen, I can be diplomatic when I want to, Garrus Vicarian. Can I talk to you for a minute? I saw your conversation, human. Okay. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. 
Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Um, okay. First of all, hello. How are you doing today? See, maybe if you had opened up with a simple conversation, this wouldn't, you know, feel quite so hostile. And I'm guessing that was your intent, but I gotta tell you something. I live with a Krogan who's not necessarily a full-grown Krogan, but kinda is a full-grown Krogan. So your hostility is nothing. That's absolutely, it is like bottom rung hostility comparatively to that. So why are you so angry? Let's talk it out. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Okay. I am sensing a lot of hostility and hatred. So let's first talk about, oh man, there's so many things that we could talk about. Let's first talk about your actual hatred for aliens. Cause I am curious where this is stemming from. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away. Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge. Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Okay, not for nothing, but humans, as in, I guess you would be referring to them as my people, haven't really been space worthy for all that long, like, you know, galactic kind of space worthy. So. I don't think it's fair to say that every war that has plagued this galaxy is my people's fault. Uh, if you're going to lump my people in though to Salarians and Turians, uh, and then humans as well, and you know, not for nothing, they, they, yeah, they, they've caused a few uh, issues in the galaxy over the years, I, I will admit that, but the Asari I'm sure are not as rosy as you're making it out to be, but this does sound very, very personal. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. Oh, I'm sorry. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. <gasps> I remember her. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Will you tell me about your family? I actually met, um, I believe I met your daughter who had worked for the consort when I was on the Citadel back then. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not, I, I didn't. I know. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. Thank There's you. enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Oh man, that's sad. You remember her daughter? I think we uh, we talked to her a few times, right? When we were on the Citadel. Let's go tell Shiala the good news though, but still that's, oh, that's heartbreaking. Did you get the star charts? Hey, Shiala. Yeah. You did it. We did. I just got the revised contracts. Good. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Kind of. Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? <laughs> I ask myself that question all the time. The only thing you can do is focus on the here and now and today. And worry about tomorrow, tomorrow kind of thing. You can plan as best you can for tomorrow, but don't worry about it until it hits. You've got the new contracts. It's fixed for now. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. Of course. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not 
doing whatever you do. <laughs> 